96.5 TDY, hello. Hello, hello. Louis here. Yo, what's Not happening? Right? How are you? How's it going? I'm all right. How are you? Good, good. Um, It's LA from 96.5 TDY here in Philadelphia. Thank you so much for calling. No worries. Thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, what's it What's it been like lately? What's life been like? Uh, really, obviously, picking up for promo. Um, how has that been? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty manic, but to be fair, I've been excited to be busy again. So I've definitely been busy in the last couple of weeks and uh, promoting this new single we made. It uh, it's a good time for for me career at the moment. You know what I mean? I've just announced the album, just announced the tour, getting my singles out. So I'm uh, I'm feeling good. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, your new single we made it uh, just dropped last week. How does it make you feel to finally have that out to the world? Well, it's a relief. Um, I, you know, I wrote that song about two and a half years ago now, so, you know, for it to come out, it, I've kind of been waiting for this. And same feeling with the tour dates in the album, really. You know, I've been waiting to announce those things, so <laughs> I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling happy that I'm finally at that stage. Oh, man, I'm literally just so happy for you. And, uh, oh, you thanks. know, uh, your happiness is everything. So, uh, in, in addition, the support around this project has been massive. Um, I want to know what do your Louis mean to you? Oh, everything, man. Um, you know, I'm really every artist sits in situations like this. You know what I mean? And 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 talks about their artists. It talks about the the fans. Um, mm. but I, I honestly, you know, I honestly feel like I got a different relationship with my fans. I always try and be. And I'm always as honest, you know, as, as as I am. I'm always, you know, trying to be honest with them and trying to keep it real with them. And I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm always trying to include them as well, so that's that's partly why I wrote this song. We made it, you know. It's the feeling I'm going to get in my tour show, but we're going to get that feeling together that we've all kind of worked hard to get to this stage together. There's some amazingly dedicated people that, uh, that are my fans that I'm lucky. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, it's basically like the whole fam made it, like the whole team made it. Exactly, exactly. That's awesome. We did it together, yeah, man. If you could uh, describe your Louis in, uh, like, three words, uh, what would be the three words you use? Um, dedicated, loyal, and crazy in the best possible way. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, and uh, tell me about your uh, your new album coming out, Walls. You know, what is the vibe going to be? Um, well, yeah, the album itself probably taken best part of three years, which again I'm not used to. You know, I've done it um, when I was in the band. We did an album mm-hmm. a year, so it's taken a bit of discipline. Um, and in general, the sound of the album. You know, I grew up listening to a lot of, like, guitar-driven music and guitar-driven mm-hmm. pop. So in terms of, like, the sound, it's going to be pretty organic, pretty live, you know, not overproduced. Mm-hmm. Um, and in terms of the lyric, I'm always trying to be, like, proper honest and as relatable as I can. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of honesty across the record. Yeah, um, I'm so excited to have that come out. Like, I'm so excited. Um, I'm curious. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do over here in America? Like, if there's one thing that you're like, I gotta do that, uh, what is it? Um, I, I should probably think of a more imaginative answer than this. Um, <laughs> but I'll tell you what's unbelievable, and I don't know if, I mean, yeah, I don't really need to give them the i five, but Postmates, <laughs> unbelievable. We don't really have a service like that. Uh, really? And honestly, Postmates, unbelievable delivery service. Yeah, yeah. How much money would you say you've dropped on Postmates recently? Too much, too much. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? I've seen the odd celebrity these days, like a Kylie Jenner get in on like, I'm thinking, honestly, I've spent a lot of money on Postmates. Give me a shout, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> that's amazing. What's the craziest thing that's ever happened while out performing or at a show? Um, that's a good question. Um I think sometimes the, the, there's, there's been one or two occasions when I was in the band where a, a, a fan actually got up on stage. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's always a bit a moment of borderline insanity, you know what I mean? You're <laughs> yeah. like, wow, this is crazy. Um, so that definitely, definitely throws your performance for a good 30 seconds. Oh, my you God. That's long on the stage, though, let me tell you. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, uh, <laughs> you're kicking off your tour in Barcelona. Um, yeah. And my girlfriend and I, Sam, we were actually just there last month. Um, so Amazing. I'm curious, what is your best memory of Barcelona or your favorite thing to do there? So we often, there's, there's a nice hotel that's like on the beach and we often stay there and there's like, it's just like these like stripper like bars that runs around there. Mm-hmm. Always great night nightlife in Barcelona. It's probably one of my favorite cities in the world, to be honest. Just, I'm sure you had a great time, did you? Oh my gosh, it was incredible. Yeah. We went to this one bar, um, it was called Bar Savage and uh, it was like a UK bar and 
I have never had as much fun as I have had there in my life. Nice. We know what we're doing. We yeah. Know what we're doing. Oh my God. Yeah. I was like, this is amazing. Um, <laughs> your new single, uh, "Don't Let It Break Your Heart." Uh, you're going to be giving that to the world on November 22nd. Um, what can you tell us about that? Um, that's a song. In general, I think across the whole song, it's something I'm 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 proud of musically. In particular, the lyrics really strong. I mean, that's always me thing anyway. But I'm really happy with the music. Um, and in terms of like the concept, it's kind of just another one of those songs that talks about you know kind of mm, just trying to find hope wherever you can, and regardless like what life throws at you, just stay hopeful. Basically, I love that so much. I literally love that so much. Thank you. Um, uh, you're welcome. Um, so you're going to be here in uh, in Philadelphia coming up in June, I believe, uh, of next year. Um, yeah, June twentieth, I think. Yeah, what are you looking forward to uh, in Philadelphia? Oh, Philly cheesesteaks. I mean, I know that's proper generic of me to say, but they are beautiful, proper, proper nice. They are delicious. Yeah. Mm, mm. <laughs> really I mean, are. other than obviously seeing the good people, which is probably what I should have said first, uh, that and the, and the Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah, more importantly, the cheesesteaks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, probably pasta. Really? Not too bad for you. Uh, I eat a lot of burgers, like, but they're really bad for you, like, so I'd say pasta. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. Um, well, thank you so much for, you know, taking the time to chat and, uh, you know, taking time out of your busy schedule because the promo, I can only imagine how busy you've been. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been busy, but it's good, man. It's good to talk to everyone, you know what I mean? Appreciate your support and all that. Yeah, of course. No, um, I'm looking forward to the new single um, and to really this, you know, this new chapter. I'm so excited for it. Thank you very much. As am I. As am I. Yeah, and uh, tell Chandler I said what's up. Tell her thank you. <laughs> will do. Will do. <laughs> um, yeah, send all my love to Chandler and uh, to you as well. Thank you so much, Louie, and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. No worries. Thanks for your time, man, and you. Thank you. See ya.